Namora! You are a mad, insane man, and usually I love it, but you may have went too far this time. Now before we get into this video, there are spoilers. If you have not beaten Final Fantasy VII Remake, then don't watch this video. Hey guys, what is going on? Narciss here from RLP Gaming Projects. And yes, it has been a long minute, but life has gotten crazy for me since the quarantine. But with a recent game coming out and me finally finishing it, I had to speak my piece about it. And what better outlet than right here with my fellow YouTubers and gamers. And of course guys, I am talking about Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now, Final Fantasy VII Remake is a game that has left me feeling conflicted like no other game has before. There were things I absolutely adored in this game, like Tifa, <laughs> but there were things that really disappointed me and has left me feeling concerned for the future of this remake. Before I get into my concerns with this game, I would really like to start out with the things that I enjoyed. The combat system for this game was amazing. I entered every battle thinking, what is the proper approach? Button mashing does not fly in this game, as long as you're not playing, or as long as you are playing on a difficulty higher than easy. My only suggestions for improvement with the combat would be to allow players to jump while fighting. This would allow for players to have a more broad approach when it comes to tactics and combat. The character designs and most of the characters' personalities in this game were on point. I could not help staring at Tifa and how amazing she looked, or being amazed how Cloud acted exactly how I imagined he would from the original game. Midgar looked amazing. It was just stunning seeing Midgar in such detail. My personal favorite thing about Midgar was the sky. I loved looking up after the reactors blew up or after Sector 7's plate fell and seeing how the sky had changed. It made the game feel alive like it was actually really happening. It was masterfully done. And the side quests were my favorite thing to do. I loved running around helping the people of the slums and adventuring through this newly reimagined Midgar. Now, let me delve into the things I didn't like. Now, before you go ranting in my comments section or giving the video a thumbs down, hear me out. I give a thorough explanation about everything at the end, so listen to it all. I was not a fan of how linear the game was. Yeah, it took place in Midgar, and yeah, the linear presentation seemed to make sense, but I just wish it was more open, and not only that, but I wish we had access to more sectors, especially late game. There should have been more summons and limit breaks available in the game. Out of all the summons that were available in the first Final Fantasy VII and limit breaks and we only got to see a handful of them, it felt ridiculous. I also believe the game could have went even further than just Midgar. I believe that Midgar could have been like a halfway point of the game and then uh, we continue on with a more open world. I think Junin would have been a good point to stop if we're going by the original script, which we're obviously not. Now, having said all of that, I can actually understand why they did most of these mistakes. To me, the first entry into the remake was a test. I think that the scope and the duration of the next entry will be much larger. I predict it will be more open world, have many more summons, material, limit breaks, and etc. I think that the first game was to test how players will react to the combat, the story, and just setting an overall premise for the future of the remake. My only true complaint about the game is the story. This is where I feel so conflicted. The ending of the Final Fantasy VII Remake brought on the prospect that there might be alternate realities, possible time travel, and just a ton of ridiculous notions. The Arbiter of Fate was a stupid concept to introduce to the game. Yeah, I get how the Arbiters of Fate are supposed to be like the purest fans of Final Fantasy VII, who want the game to be like the original, but they were just a redundant part of the game. If you want to let fans, you let them know that you're going to make major changes to the game, there is a much less roundabout way in handling it than adding dumb metaphors to the game. I honestly think Namora was a mistake to be made director of the game. 
His writing is too cryptic and confusing for most players and it is going to have a negative impact on the game. It seems to me that he is too obsessed with the idea of time travel since he reuses this same concept in at least two of his ongoing games. Now, I'm not a Final Fantasy VII purist, not at all, and I am open to the idea of change in this game, but I am over time travel and alternate reality nonsense. I want there to be one timeline. People get one life, no do-overs, and we will have one ending. Not infinite, possible, cryptic realities and bullshit. I know I am being harsh, but at the same time, I am being honest. Like I said, this game leaves me feeling so conflicted. I won the Platinum the game, so I am prepared for the next one because I do believe there is going to be some sort of carryover between games, but that ending left me feeling so disgusted that I'm not sure I want to play the next one. Now, I know I will, but it still doesn't change how I feel. My final thoughts on the game is, I love the gameplay. The side quest, the graphics, and the combat system, but I am disgusted with certain aspects of the story. The game should be called Final Fantasy VII The Alternate Universe, not a remake. Despite the horrible ending we received, I still give the game a 9 out of 10. Despite the horrible twists in the story, Nomura, you did do an amazing job with the rest. And with that guys, I am going to end this video. I apologize for the rant, but it was just so hard to see such an amazing game get the ending that it did. I do hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts on the game. If you did, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I want to give a shout out to the three new subscribers I received while I was not making videos. I appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel. I really do. It really helps out. And until the next project, guys, take it easy. I'm out.